Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. As I said, I had to flip the axle upside down, which is fine. It's not going to hurt anything. It just puts the sprocket on this side instead of that side. So, another roadblock, which I already knew, was the brake caliber is on that side. So now I managed to figure a way to do it over here. So I'm going to mount it closer to that bar down there at the bottom to connect to the inner bottom side of the caliber so you can bolt into it. So I'll make one of those tabs like that one is that's over there and then make it shorter and stick it on this side. Then I got a spacer that is going to be replicated the same way as what that one is over over here so that's going to remain the same and then what i'm going to do is right on the outside edge of that i'm going to make it with a metal bracket that's going to come down to the top of the brake caliber so it can be bolted together so it would hold the brake caliber from getting ripped off and keep it from rocking back and forth. So I figured that part out. So I'm welding this tab with an additional mounting tab facing downwards to that. So that way it can be bolted on. And it's also threaded so it'll work out. They used that short hex bolt over here when it was on that side. So it does good there. It should do just fine over here. Then that tab is going to be welded. And it'll be like one of, one of those on the end of there. So that bolt can go through it and tag into there but i don't want to ruin those just yet i think i'm going to use this that's thicker steel i got a little pile left that's right here it's well it won't allow me to zoom her out for some reason but there's my pile of scrap and so you can see that i'm starting to run low i got a few loose sides and ends up in there i got some four wheelers i could take it from whatever I could do but in the end I don't want to destroy that four-wheeler totally I want it to still be able to get repurposed and put back together it's just this stole the show for the moment and thought it would be a cool little project I still need to get some nuts and bolts for up in here to hold my homemade mount uh, motor mounts and then I need to make a brace for in between here, between those two, to keep it from rocking back and forth. I haven't got that far yet for the moment, but I am working on it. I wasted most of my time this morning trying to get those brake hubs resolved. So that's what I've done so now I'm back here working on this so I can have at least rear brakes and be able to stop it so I can do a test run I need to drill the holes in two nuts that will go through that front axle like it's supposed to with a cotter pin that way those nuts don't break loose and wheels come flying off so at the moment the uh Back of the buggy will have at least rear brakes to be able to slow it down. Plus, I can downshift the wheel where it would help uh, slow the buggy down. But when it gets to a certain point and it loses tension, the centrifugal clutch is no longer engaged and you just have a rollaway. So, yeah, you really desperately need to have brakes on this thing. Hang tight. I'm going to try to play a little bit more here 
and well actually now I know I got the brakes resolved these uh <laughs> these hubs are like made out of damn kryptonite they're not coming off so I am going to take those tires off of them white rims and I want to mount them onto the original rims and I think I'm going to paint the rims white and the center hubs up there I'm going to paint them white it looked pretty cool with the white and the black and the blue silver whatever other color we're going to decide on but I don't want this motor to look like it's standing out all bright silver I want it to blend in with the rest of this buggy and that way that way it looks like it's manufactured with it I'm going to keep the Suzuki with the reverse gear logo written on there they ain't going to hurt it none and well I think we're going to do a nice solid startup. How about that? After all this hard work, let's let's hear what this baby truly sounds like. And uh, we're going to we're going to let it idle and put it in gear and see if she actually rotates the rear axle, and see if that chain stays on there. Then that's a plus. Then we know we can push forward because if I assemble everything else. <laughs> And that chain just wants to keep flying off. That means something ain't right. And I'm going to have to redo this shit. So. Uh, yeah. That would be a good thing. But I'm going to take that brake caliber off of there first. I don't want to throw that into an uppercut. So now we're nice and clear. I'll make sure them lugs are tight. So they don't go flying nowhere. We don't need no flying projectiles. While our harness is up and out of the way. So I'm going to pause the video. And I'm going to hook some things up. I got to get a fuel tank hooked up to it. And we're going to fire this bad boy up and see what she sounds like. Stay tuned. All right, guys. There it is. She's a runner. I just turned it off so we now know we have a runner <laughs> take me a minute I'm gonna put the gear shifter on it and I want to see if there's a uh, rear axle spin so let's do that while we're sitting here this is for the reverse but let's see here Huh. That's the reverse. That's the reverse lever. So the other one's the shifter. Well, let's uh Yeah, so I do that. There it goes. I done broke the spark plug. Uh, yep. The coil, coil wire was resting on here and I didn't see it. So I had to yoke it real quick. And well, I broke that part. And well, 
started seeing smoke. And well, you can see right in here, this started to cause a problem. I was trying to save it before I burnt all the way through the wire, but it's too late. I was trying to get those wires to disconnect and that came off. So I didn't really feel a shift in the gear going forward. So I'm going to get the gear lever for it so I could try it. Hold on. So now you got to hear it and seeing that it, she moves under her own power so and it's not quite acting the way it's supposed to because she's low on oil so once I get oil in there things should start loosening up this thing hadn't ran in a good while I could tell just by the way it's behaving I get it done, it'll fire up every time, first pull, done. So the good thing is, the transmission engages. This uh, gear shifter down here wasn't tightened down, it was only pinched. And when I tapped it on my foot, I kicked it into neutral and couldn't get it to spin, but the lever would move, but not the... Uh, shift rod so that's got to get fixed but she does go in gear that's good news and we know she revs up so that's good also good news she revs up but the carburetor still needs to come off get cleaned up but i think i'm going to go and get a uh a different carburetor maybe like a uh a bc 29 peter zebra 29 so I'm going to get one of them, smash it on there, $20, and then I can jet it a little bit, make it a little hopped up, and she should be fine. And I got to fix the harness, I got to extend the wire harness to it, and then I got to figure out a safe place to mount a shift lever for the bottom of this looks like it's going to be above the old battery box that way the rear suspension can't snag the cable and there's a fastener hole right there that I think I can connect on to is so I'll put my cable through you know put a bolt with a like an eye bolt and have the cable come through there so it can be threaded on both sides and it can push and pull this lever here and then I'll have to do the same from when I go to do the reverse and I could probably just do that with a choke cable but I think it'd be cool using those levers up there um, so that's that's where about I'm at right now. Uh, the bolts actually vibrated out of this thing. <laughs> Ooh, I can see the problem right now. The bolts uh, were were only sitting in there, and they both came out and put extreme amount of tension on to the chain there, which can cause a problem. So those shocks wasn't allowing that axle to drop. So that's what happened. And along with me and that shifter. So that's where we're at. It's getting there. Just a little bit longer and a couple of good days. And I should have this thing up and running around. And then we can go strap up the GoPro and a couple cell phones and take some cool videos my uh partner that's going to be joining me he bought himself a buggy and he's going to be making videos over at his place and then when he comes over he's going to drop me the video so i can upload it to our channel and 
merge it together. Thank you much and uh, keep your heads up and stay strong. Good day. Bye.